Hi, welcome. I'm Impact Frames, and in this video, I'm going to show you my new node called If Load Images S. And what it does is load a lot of images inside your Confi UI. Like you can output a list and you can load images from an arbitrary folder inside Confi UI because there are some limitations with the normal load image node. So if you have the load images, you can only load one image at the time. There are a couple of nodes that you can do something similar, but then you cannot preview the image. And before I was using the VHS node that has like a sequence kind of way to load images and you can display them in here. But and that node stopped working. I don't know, for me it's not working since a long time when they introduced a new front end. That node apparently relies heavily on JavaScript and they could not make it to work back again, I don't know why. But anyway, here I made my node. This is not guaranteed to work for everyone, but it will. Uh, it works for me very well. So if you can see here, you have like a backup and restore your images. And I'm gonna try to show the, the folder. Probably you, your Confi UI will need some uh, rules to let them create folders and stuff. I'm not sure. But um, you have your input folder here, and if I click that button, if I click that button for backing up, it will back up all those images into a backup uh, input folder that I show you. So the way this works is that you can make like a filter here. You can uh, filter by PNGs, and you can select your folder that you want to work with. I'm gonna select this in in my pictures in the pictures. Uh, folder in Windows. And then I copy this address bar here. That's important because uh, in the new Confi UI, uh, this, this pane uh, don't allow you to copy things. So you have to copy it here, paste it, and it will save it here in this thing. And also will tell you how many images it will appear here. But because I have some refreshing thing going on, uh, normally it will tell you the exact, and I think it did tell me, but somehow my mouse dragged the, the thing and it screwed it up. So when you do refresh, you have six images total. It says available count, and that's because I'm only selecting the PNGs. So it's going to a folder of the PNGs and grabbing just the PNGs. But it's not because the folder is PNG, it will do it all the extensions that are PNG within all the hierarchy of folders that you selected from the image uh, folder thing. I don't know if I explained that well, but I, I think that once you start using it, you will get the hang of it. Basically, you select, you have a folder that you select and every folder inside that folder, it will be counted. And if you select like a filter here, it will select only the JPEGs because these images of the anime, they are all in PNGs. It won't select them, but if I select like a, a range here, like I want up to a 12 index and I start by the two, it will select 10 images from, from all the folders within the thing, but only the JPEGs. So you can see that no anime girls will, will appear because they were PNG. And these ones, um, are all JPEGs. They are in different folders, like the Japan folder is a, is a folder, and this images is from the uh, image folder. Okay, so that's how you use it, basically, and then you render here, so if you put like from 2 to 12, it will give you 10 pictures in here, but you have to disable the one image selected, so if you disable that, when you run the queue, in here will appear like the list of 10 images. And you also get the, you also get all this list in here. This might take some time depending on how many images and, the, and how heavy they are. And you can see 10 images. And these images are super high resolution and that's why it took a long time the Japan pictures are like a uh, high resolution. And 
Yeah, so in here you are seeing like a thumbnail in inside the in node view, you are seeing a thumbnail, but in here in the result you see like the real image that is stored within some place in your computer. This is like the real location, the real image you are seeing here. And in here you see a thumbnail. So yeah, that's it. There are um, there are a limit of images that you can load at the time. If if you have like a heavy images like this and you don't want to load more than a hundred, you can do so. Uh, if you want to select only this image of the robot, you can select through in here and then run the queue and you can work with one one image only. And you also see like the, the mask. Uh, the mask is like, I think it's like a, a default one that it, it creates one like the same way like the load images in Confu I does. Uh, but I don't know why. I think maybe because you can paint a mask in here also. So, well, that's all. And I hope you enjoy the note. And I hope it works for you. As I said, it's not guaranteed to work. And yeah, thank you.